welcome back. So today we got a real fun lesson. We're gonna use crayons again, and we're gonna learn to draw water. Now, we're gonna use a real easy technique. We're gonna draw water the same way we've always drawn it, but then do like a version 2.0 on it. So let's look at the colors we're using. I have a white crayon, which is very important for today's lesson. I have what I would call a sky blue. Now over here are my colors that I'm gonna use in the water. This is like kind of an emerald green. This one is sort of an aquamarine sort of blue. And this one is just kind of a deeper regular blue. All right, so now that we got our supplies all on hand, let's go ahead and just jump right into this one. So what I like to do first is grab the middle uh, crayon over in the water section. So this is gonna be our sort of uh, turquoise blue green one. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna draw the horizon line, the area where we can first see the ocean. So let's go ahead and wherever we want that to be, I'm gonna do mine like a little bit past the halfway point. And see, it doesn't need to be perfect. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do just a light box to show you how I'm gonna look at the waves. So let's come down on both sides. Perfect, perfect. And let's go down over here. Now the reason I'm gonna show it to you in this box is because I wanna show you how I think of perspective. So the waves that will be at the bottom are closer to me. As we go back here, they're getting further away, right? They're getting smaller. So here's a, a little trick I use to figure that out. Let's say about an inch of the way up on this side, I put a little mark. What I'll do now is halfway between this mark and that corner, I'll place another little mark. Now halfway between this mark and the corner again, I'll do a mark again and then again. So now we can see that they go back getting closer and closer and closer and closer, implying distance. All right. now. Here we go, let's do our classic wave shape. Now, if this doesn't look exactly how mine looks, that's okay because we want this to look different. We just wanna have this basic shape, which is sort of a smiley face. See, like that, a smile to a smile to a smile. Let's do another one. Now, sometimes we could do them just one, and notice how I'm staying within, uh, under that line. There we go, perfect. So what we'll do is when we go into this section between these two lines, we'll do them half as long. So about like this. And the idea is, is to make a fun pattern that's not too predictable. There we go. Okay, as we start to head back here, we'll go even a little smaller. Look at that, so already just with a little drawing, it's starting to look like we're going back into the distance there. Alrighty, boom, boom. Now, have a lot of fun with this because the water's always moving and right now we're trying to convey the current. That's why they're coming up and sloshing like that because the water's really splashing around. So now the further back we get, the more straight I'm gonna go with my lines and the longer I'll make them. Because when we think about the water, things get really stretched out as they get into the distance and we can't see so much of that detail. So now back here, see how I'm going to mostly these horizontal dash marks. Perfect. So already, if we didn't go any further, we already have a nice idea of water going on. So let's put that crayon back down. Here's the big trick in this uh, drawing. If you color first with the white crayon, you can scratch off whatever you color on top of it to provide a highlight. So see all those bright whites? That's gonna be the crayon. What I'm gonna do is, at any peak here, I'm gonna go down and really color hard and trace the bottom edge of any of these waves. So let's take a second. Go around and really put that crayon, uh, lean into it. You want pressure. If you can't see if you're coloring, 
don't worry, I mean, it is white, but you can always sort of tilt your head, tilt the paper, and see the light reflect off of it. So crayons are wax, right? So right now, we're just loading it up with a bunch of wax, and this actually, with the white crayon, makes it so that what we do next, it makes the crayon resistant. So when we color over, we can just scratch it right off, which is a really fun ending to the painting, right? As I get back here, I start just kind of going right underneath it and just going side to side. The further I get back, the looser I get. Now I'm just kind of doing a scratchy side to side, still pressing hard. This will just be random highlights on the ocean. So up close, I was more thoughtful about them, right? You could do a couple random ones here and there if you'd like. And then what's fun is we'll just leave this and at the very end, we'll scratch it off and we'll be able to see all the awesome highlights that we just worked on. Perfect. So now what we'll do, let's put that white crayon back down. Let's pick up the crayon we were using earlier to draw all of our waves. What we're gonna do is, at the peak again, we're gonna come out with like, kind of like um, a really tight C shape, almost like a boomerang. So like, something like this, and then we'll sort of connect different areas. So see how that and that now are connected? Color it in. Now when you color it in, you can press really hard. What we wanna do is go to the tops of all of the ocean peaks. So look at that, now we have a little section there. Let's do another one. Boom, let's do this. And then notice how we can start connecting things. Sometimes I'll do more of these little wave shapes. And there we go. Now the idea is to really, really fill it in. We're not gonna have a whole lot of white when we're done. Up here, you can really make these go off the page. Let's do that there, how about that there? So, now we'll go like that. Perfect. Now, up close, that's where I'm putting a little bit more attention to the details. And I'm going right over the white crayon if uh, I have to in the section I'm in. There we go. Over here, let's do some of these. Now, the whole thing is, is it doesn't need to be perfect. And if you run into two, like this, that are next to each other, let's do another little swoop and end it with some of these little waves and you can kind of cut back in. The whole idea is to keep the wave shape going and keep these little curves coming off of the peak because it helps make the waves look a little more 3D. So let's do these ones. Some of these you can just do a smile in between. Look at that, how it makes it sort of look like it's sloshing around. Here we go. Perfect. Now, I'll go ahead and I'll even color the area in between waves that isn't a highlight. So all we start getting is just the little highlights coming up. So look at that. All we're starting to have now is just these little spots. Let's go over here. You can see it's just that little kind of swoosh letter uh, C going on. Coloring real hard, real hard, because the harder we color, the more saturated our drawing will be, which just makes it basically brighter. Now back here, we'll start doing the same thing, but after this section, we can start to get a little less careful. And even here, I'm kind of starting to fill most of it, uh, just leaving little areas of white near the tops of the little peaks of waves that are coming out. Because as things get further from our eye, we could be a little less detailed with them. There we go. Just leaving little hints of it. Look at that. All right. And I'm doing, as I get back here, kind of a side to side motion. Now, the further I go back, I'll keep coloring, keep coloring. Awesome, awesome. So we got all these little waves popping out here. Now, at this point, you know, we had that perfect little drawing, and now everything looks like, ooh, it's getting kind of confused. But don't worry, we're gonna take it to that next level. This is Friday, this is the best day of the week, and so let's just knock it out of the park today, right? We're gonna 
definitely want to practice this one over and over because if you plan to be a lifelong artist, I promise this is not the first time or the last time that you're ever going to have to draw water. So see how back here I just started just generally coloring it in. We have all of our main highlights happening up front. Great job. Let's go ahead and put that crayon back down. Let's grab our <coughs> emerald one. So with this one, we're gonna go ahead and just color over everything, making all the white areas become that emerald color. Now, I'm even coloring over the blue that I did. You don't have to do it like everywhere, but you'll find that it makes the water look much more like water. It gives it that kind of greenish tint that water tends to have. So the spots that are bright white are the areas that the sun, the sunlight is hitting. And so that's why it's getting this brighter green because the sunlight is actually passing through the water. And when it passes through the water and it's that shallow splashing up, it just sort of brightens the water and makes it all kind of bright green. All right, going all the way back into the distance. And as I get further back, I just kind of do the straight back and forth and get a nice blend. There we go. Perfect, perfect. So here's the fun part. Here's where we get to start scratching. What we'll do is we'll scratch and then we'll do one last little detail on top. So. You can use a quarter at home. That's what I use a lot of the time. Uh, this is like a window scraper that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start scratching, scratching. Now this is fun, because what you'll see is that my highlights will start to come back. Look at that. And this is also great because it sort of smooths out your drawing a little too. So let's take a second and scratch out the top of our waves. Look at that, you can see all my little highlights coming back. Really, really lean into it. And again, use a quarter at home if you don't have one of these, which I just happen to have one laying around. All right, got our little highlights all coming back. And I may even use a quarter just to give it a good smooth. The quarter really takes everything off, especially back here where I might have any highlights I wanna come out. There we go. Now. You may get little uh, chunks of wax on your paper, like I'm getting right here. Don't worry about that. You could just brush them right off later. Look at how that background is just kind of making itself look like water. That's half the trick, is just knowing how to trick people into thinking that they're seeing, uh, you know, this nice water that we drew. Go ahead, scratch off really nicely wherever you have those highlights. Perfect, perfect. Now, you can use your hand or a brush to get any of the extra little crayon stuff off. Now, I have a finishing touch here. The last thing I'm gonna do is take this uh, deep blue and I'm gonna go wherever the water is flat beneath the wave. So, right beneath any of the peaks, I'm gonna imagine that it's a deeper blue. So let's go, press real hard, go right to the top, of uh, any of the peaks, because look at how that makes that pop out. I'm gonna go down, down, all right. Now you don't wanna have to have it everywhere. We definitely wanna have it only in the areas where there is not the peaks going on, because where it starts peeking up into those triangles, that's where the sunlight starts coming through. So because we put this in the flat areas, it makes it feel a little more 3D. It kind of makes these start to pop out. Now, you can always, too, go around and kind of outline the edges, some of them, if you want them to pop out a little more. There we go, perfect. And so as I move backwards, I'll keep adding that blue, and I'll just keep being mindful that I can kind of shape the top of my waves with it. See how much depth this is giving it as we go back? Look at that, look at that, there we go. Now, as I go further and further back, the idea is, is that 
we're getting uh, further away from the eye too. And so colors, they'll get a little less intense. So what I'll do is as I go back, avoiding any bright whites, I'll just lessen the amount I do. So now I'm pressing softly with my crayon and just kind of getting that last little bit there. Perfect, perfect. You know, you all are so amazing and isn't it so awesome what we can just do with a crayon right here? You can go and you can take this middle uh, color again and you could highlight any of these. Now, afterwards, if you'd like, just color with this crayon and you can put a nice blue sky back there just to give it some context. So I'll go ahead and I'll finish out the lesson just coloring with that blue crayon. Remember, I wanna see some of your results and I really wanna see you guys having a great weekend out there. I cannot wait till next Monday to get back here and do another great art class with you. So until then, I'll color in my sky